Hawks. I've said it many times before. Let me let me go ahead and go full screen because I, I I need to make a clip. Yeah. Out of this. Hey, hold okay. on, hold on. I'm not gonna talk, but you better make this fucking worth that you're going full screen. Brother. I'm going. I'm going full screen. Going go full ahead. screen. Okay. Look. Thank God the Raiders got rid of McDaniel's. Okay, that's first of all. Okay, second of all, the Raiders are a dysfunctional piece of shit, bro. They, they are. They just are. They are dysfunctional as shit. And it pisses me off, dude, because Mark Davis, I always say this, it starts with him. It starts with the owner, ladies and gentlemen. And he he dug his own grave with this. He's the one that hired McDaniels. He's the one that didn't want to hire Rich Basaccia. He's the one that didn't want to hire Brian Dable. Guys like that. He picked McDaniels. And you know why he picked McDaniels? I don't care what anyone says, but it's because of Tom Brady. The Raiders thought they were going to get Tom Brady. Tom Brady wound up retiring. They said, oh, shit. We lost our relationship with Derek Carr. Who's out in the market? Jimmy Garoppolo. We might as well get him. And it went fucking south. Like anyone would have fucking predicted. It went south with Jimmy G. All because Mark Davis got excited with Tom Brady. And it didn't happen. He hired McDaniels because he knew he had a legitimate shot to get Brady. And I admit, the Raiders had a legitimate shot. There's already been multiple reports out there that said Brady and Gronk were going to come to Vegas per Jay Glazer and other sources. So I don't, I look, I don't doubt that. But this is why the Raiders need to change owners, bro. Is because he's taken advice from the wrong people. He can't make a decision for himself. And he's out here playing fucking Russian roulette with the Las Vegas Raiders. He went all in for Brady and he got fucked. Okay. Now you got to pay the repercussions of this. Yes. McDaniels is gone. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to go to screen now. I love Antonio Pierce. I do. I love his energy. I, I watched his press conference today. I think the best thing he could have did was say that Aiden O'Connell is going to start the rest of the year. I've been shouting it from the rooftops since fucking week three now. I'm glad Jimmy G is fucking out of here. Um, but it's going to be a process, folks. It's going to be a process, Raider Nation. It is. It's. Uh, we're not really going anywhere right now. Uh, our roster is bad. We don't have cornerstone pieces besides really Crosby and Adams. You know, Jacobs is on a one-year deal. We don't have a quarterback. We'll see what happens in the draft. But it needed to happen. I'm glad it happened. But please, somebody. I don't care who it is, but someone needs to get in Mark Davis's ear and tell him either sell the team or someone else has to make decisions. It's so bad, Max. You know who Mark Davis takes advice from? Marcel fucking Reese. Marcel Reese. I love Marcel Reese. Raider Nation favorite. He shouldn't be fucking making decisions. I'm sorry. And then you know who else he used to take advice from? John fucking Madden. Who, rest in peace to my brother. But he was way too old to be making decisions on a franchise. That's who he got his advice from. I'm sorry. Raiders alum is not good enough. You need to find someone in there, get someone's God honest opinion and hire the right guy. Please. I'm done. What's your thoughts, Max? Well, um, Josh McDaniels has ruined two AFC West teams. Let's hope he never gets a shot at the other two. But one, I want to ask you a serious question. Um, How much of this do you attribute to Gruden being fired? Kind of a, I just want to, my my question is more: Are you at this point with Gruden? Do you think like does? I don't know. That's my point. Like I I don't know if Basaccia would have solved shit. I still think if you brought back Basaccia, whatever you know, the team seemed to have a belief in him. I guess. But again, you guys have always been like one of the least talented teams in the NFL mo- most years. So I'm saying like. What, does Gruden fix shit? Does Versace fix shit? 
I or felt, is like I feel this was like, the Raiders' destiny from the start, and Josh McDaniels just accelerated it with poor choice by honestly a poor choice of quarterback. Because, like I said Monday, he got he the play calls weren't all that bad. Devontae was wide open, right? Yeah, but it was his choice to burn that bridge with Derek Carr. And look, I'm gonna say one thing about Derek Carr. I bet he's fucking happy as shit because he was right. This this team gets blamed on him since day one. It's been his fault whenever they lose. Mm-hmm. How Derek Carr, blah, 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 broke his leg. He's not clutch. He is not a winner. You know? For all his faults, guys, he's a different league of quarterback than Jimmy G. Derek Carr was keeping this team together in a lot of ways. And they they fucking torched that relationship, which kind of meant Devontae's unhappy. I wouldn't I I could see a world where Devontae kind of sits out the last or Tana phones it at excuse me. Yeah. And no one I'm telling you, Max, no one's ever gonna admit it. But they thought they were gonna get Brady. That's what happened, dude. I'm sticking with it. No one can tell me different. I'm sticking with that narrative, bro. It's the only thing that makes sense to me on why they will downgrade from a guy like Carr. To Jimmy Garoppolo, it makes no sense. And just the timeline of things. Of I find it very weird that they waited until Brady came out with his retirement. Then they signed Jimmy G. I find it weird. I find it weird. And the fact that they shitted on a guy like Carr so fucking bad. To the point where they were willing to completely fuck off that relationship and get nothing for him. Find it hard to believe. But McDan- on, on McDaniel's note, or actually to answer your question, uh, yeah, it is Gruden's mess. That, that is part of it. But to me, you had you had a chance to make things right. And whether you hired Basachi or not, the move wasn't to hire McDaniel's. That wasn't the move. You should have built on what you had. And the reality was, is that you had a franchise quarterback. You had a playoff team. You should have went forward with it. And if not, you should have hired another guy. You should have hired Dable. You should have hired one of these young guns. Why would you go and hire McDaniels? And to answer the question, because of Brady. That's why. That's it. And I'm glad that this dude has gotten fired because he will never be a head coach ever again. He lost his chance. He ruined Denver, and he ruined the Raiders. Every chance he fucking gets. The guy's no good.